with the president on Wall Street today was the Secretary of the Treasury, Timothy Geithner. His department put out a report detailing the next phase of stabilizing and regulating the financial system. And in an exclusive interview, Geithner told me that the economy is in much better shape today than it was when the meltdown began last September. A year ago, people for the first time in a century in this country were wondering about whether they should keep their money in banks. But today, you have a lot of private capital came into the financial system. The system is stronger because of that. Borrowing costs have coming down for corporations and for families. Those are the initial signs of improvement. And that's why, why the economy is starting to grow again. Having said that, it's been a year since Lehman collapsed. And yet, Congress has passed only one major piece of financial regulation having to do with credit cards. Derivatives still largely unregulated. Huge bonuses are back. So what has really changed? Well, uh, Kitty, we're going to change this financial system fundamentally. We have to because we can't afford to let this country be in a position again where you could suffer this much damage. And that's going to require a comprehensive reform, but it requires legislation. This kind of headline must give you indigestion. It says, progress is slow on regulatory overhaul, posing risk of even bigger crisis. Again, I, actually, I think Congress is going to move this year. I think they're going to move earlier than any country in response to past crises has thought about reform. Let me ask you about bonuses, because some firms cutting back on them are actually raising salaries. As you know, five of the biggest banks set aside $60 billion to cover compensation. That's just $17 billion less than 2007. And with layoffs, that's a lot fewer people getting that money. So doesn't this amount to business as usual in many ways? Uh, it, we can't let business as usual. We can't let things go back to where they were. But isn't this a shell game? They're just putting more money for salaries and less for bonuses, well, and people if, are still getting mega if, if that's what happens, payments? If that's what happens, then we would have failed. Someone is going to have to pay down the mountain of debt created by this financial crisis. Do you believe, Mr. Secretary, uh, an across-the-board tax increase is inevitable? I think people recognize that these deficits are unsustainable, and if we're going to have a stronger economy in the future, we have to bring them down. Is an across-the-board tax increase inevitable? I don't, I don't think so, no. As you know, economic growth is powered by consumer spending, and a recent Gallup poll found that 70 percent of Americans are cutting expenses. So what out there, Secretary Geithner, might light a fire under the economy and create sustainable growth? It's going to come gradually, but the first step is to pull the economy back from the abyss. And do you really feel that you have done everything in your power to put systems in place as quickly as possible to prevent a financial crisis of this magnitude from ever happening again? Uh, not, absolutely not. Not yet. But as I said, that requires Congress legislating reforms. I asked Secretary Geithner if he'll extend the controversial TARP program when it expires at the end of the year. He told me he hasn't decided yet.